Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kaido, and up here with uh, the second part of the horror DVD collection. Just thought I'd get it over and done with and get it out of the way. <laughs> um, not as many as yesterday, but still a decent amount. Again, if you can check out yesterday's video, check it out because it is uh, some good stuff there. But anyway, without further ado, I want to get this out of the way because I've got the day to myself today and I want to chill today. First up we have The Last House on the Left, which is a remake. Um, I've heard this is actually pretty good. The original was obviously a video nasty. I've heard this is a pretty decent remake. Then we have The Thing, which is obviously a remake of The Thing from Another World. Um, often considered to be one of the best sci-fi horror movies out there. Um, I've never seen it, that's why I've only got it on DVD. Um, if I like it and that, you know, then obviously I'll upgrade it. Uh, then we got the uh, Exorcism of Emily Rose. Um, I think Exorcism movies can be really good or can be really bad depending on how well they're done. Um, I haven't seen many of them, but the ones I've seen are pretty <laughs> subpar. Um, next we've got Your Neck, which I thought was actually really good. Really good sort of home invasion movie. Um, when I, I first seen this movie, um, the whole like sheet mask reminded me of like the Wyatt family in WWE. Um, uh, you know, but I thought this movie was really good. Pretty brutal as well. I enjoyed it. Uh, then we got from Dust Till Dawn 2, Texas Blood Money. Um, I've not seen any of the Dust Till Dawn movies. I think the first one's on Paramount Plus, so I can definitely check that one out at some point. Um, then we have uh, the Scream, uh, I've got Scream 1 to 4, I watched this last night on Paramount, um, I've never seen any of the Scream movies, honestly I thought this movie was pretty decent, I, I understand you know as a horror film it, it's pretty good because it's sort of um, you know, it, is it a horror comedy, is it a spoof movie, it's kind of a little bit of everything really, it's got horror elements in there, it's got some comedy it's a sort of movie that you know is very um faithful to horror movies you know pointing out all the tropes and that um all of these are on paramount plus with the exception of the fourth one i don't know why maybe some rights issues um but i thought it was decent uh and then of course we've got the second one um i've not seen any of them i've heard that they're all pretty good i think the third one is considered to be the worst in the series um and then obviously the fourth one um which i heard was you know obviously sort of going back to the first one um of course there's also the tv show as well which i've not seen i've heard mixed reviews on the tv show uh, then we got sator the beast within uh looks like it's going to be sort of like a supernatural you know horror movie Evil Presence looks interesting. Uh, Slender Man. There's a bunch of these Slender Man movies out there. <coughs> I've seen a few of them. And the ones <coughs> that I've seen um, weren't great. Um, I don't know how good this one is. It looks interesting. Um, I think Slender Man's very creepy thing, of course, started off as a creepy pasta. And then obviously became a game and, and, and that, you know, so it was obvious that we were going to get some movies from it. But um, I've heard mixed reviews on the series. I can't remember which one's the best one. Uh, then we've got Scar, which is also a 3D movie. And it's one of the old school 3D movies with the blue and red 3D glasses. So you don't need a special DVD player for it or TV. Um, it also includes the 2D version, which is obviously the version I've probably watched. I uh, don't know much about it. Looks like it's going to be sort of um, slasher, bloody. Yeah. Then we've got Sharknado. Um, is it a horror movie? I'd say it kind of is. It's basically killer sharks. Um, these movies are just crazy. Um, I think there's like four, five or six of them now. I don't know why people eat it up. I don't know. Um, Snakes on a Plane, horror comedy, I absolutely love this movie, um, I'd say it, it is a comedy, it's got a lot of funny moments in there, um, I remember this, this might have been one of the first, like, proper horror movies that I watched when I was younger, 
Um, I enjoy it. I still think it's a fun movie. Um, Killer Snake, you know, going crazy. Uh, Stan Helsing, which is like a spoof movie. Um, I think this is pretty funny. It's one of the better of the um, spoof movies. It's not amazing, but I thought it's pretty funny. Uh, the original scary movie, which... Um, Going back to uh, Scream, um, this obviously is a spoof of Scream. So when I watched Scream last night, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, all I've seen all of the spoofs in, in uh, the movie, scary movie. Um, I've watched all of the scary movies recently, with the exception of the fifth one, because it's not available on any streaming service at the moment. Um, I, I, this movie is just stupid fun. Um, I think it's probably the best of its ilk um, in, the, in the whole scary movie franchise those sort of movies uh, then we've got the hitcher it looks like it's going to be sort of you know fuel thriller horror movie uh violent and those sort of type of movies uh, then we've got house of dead which in my opinion is one of the worst best movies i've ever seen um this movie is just terrible um <laughs> the, the biggest problem i have with this movie is it actually uses video game cutscenes in the movie um it's Huey Bowl what you expect but it's absolutely terrible um I keep it because it's it's just so bad it's good plus I kind of want to look at some of the special features on here another double pack we've got the brain and hollow point um I think they're horror movies they kind of look like they're horror movies uh, then we've got the omen pentology which includes all um I think it's one, two, three, four, five, five Omen movies in here. Um, and obviously the remake, rebooted one. I'll be honest with you, I've not seen any of the Omen movies. I might have seen one, um, you know, Damien, Son of the Devil thing. I remember the video game back in the day. Everyone was playing that on YouTube years ago. <laughs> um, so uh, then we got... Uh, two Purge movies, Purge Election Year, which I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of The Purge. I enjoyed the first one um, as a home invasion movie, but honestly, I felt like the movies went downhill pretty fast. I haven't seen the first Purge though, but I've heard this is um, probably one of the better ones in the series. Um, it's, it's, you know, it, it's an interesting concept, but I think it's outplayed now. Um, then we got The Eye with Jessica Alba. Um, it looks interesting, looks creepy. Uh, then we got Alien Ninja. Um, I don't know whether or not this is a horror movie. Um, I I just threw it in with the horror movies. It says martial arts horror movie, so um, it just looks amazing. Um, I mean, look at that alien there. It looks fucking like. Uh, the Godzilla from that 90s Godzilla movie <laughs> wow uh, then we've got uh, Fallen Soldiers which I really like that cover and flip cover I think it's like a zombie style um, you know British Revolution um, battlefields um, you know that sort of French uh, British war with zombies uh, Ghost Ship, which I think is awesome. I love this movie. Um, the opening credit scene is just amazing. Um, I enjoy this movie. I like movies based on ships and things. Uh, then we've got Ghost Boat, which I, I don't think it's got anything to do with Ghost Ship, but uh, I'm not sure. It looks very similar to Ghost Ship, but I don't know if it's as good as Ghost Ship. Uh, Dead End. I don't know much about this one. But um, it's got some interesting, um, looks interesting. We got the Boogeyman. Um, I've heard this movie's terrible. I've heard bad things about this movie. Uh, then we got Dead Blood Simple, which I think is more of a thriller. But um, I don't know. It, it looks interesting. I've heard good things about this one. Uh, Funny Games, which I think this is the original version of Funny Games. Um, this movie is very sort of brutal. Uh, you know, it's basically these people, you know, break in and basically make 
uh, these people do crazy things to survive. Um, Cradle of Fear, which I actually did watch on Netflix not long ago. Um, this movie was just insane. Um, it's from the same, it's from um, uh, one of the uh, Cradle of Filth uh, band, uh, Cradle of Fear, the movie is. Um, it basically like four, it's like an anthology almost. The final one was interesting. I really enjoyed the last um, segment with the whole sort of Red Room um, type thing going on there. Um, but overall, you're either going to like this movie or not like it. I thought it was interesting, um, but I wouldn't really go as far as to say it's a great movie. Uh, then we got the Deep Blue Sea trilogy. Deep Blue Sea 1, 2 and 3. Um, I've only seen the first one. Uh, my partner loves this movie. I think it's it's a fun ride, you know, killer sharks and stuff like that. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of shark films. I just think they're outplayed and often terrible. Um, episode 50, which is another sort of paranormal um, style thing. I think I've seen this movie a long time ago. I don't remember it being amazing. Uh, the original Evil Dead... Is the uncut version, of course. Classic. Uh, and then I've got um, four Underworld movies. Which, let me know in the comments below. Do you think Underworld is um, uh, horror? I I'd say it is horror because, you know, it's basically, um, you know, I'd say it's horror action, you know. Um, it's vampires and, you know, lichens. So, you know, the original there. I don't know the order they go in. Um, Evolution, Rise of Lycans, and um, Awakening. I think there's five, and they have got a 4K blue uh, box set, um, but I've never seen any of them. I let me know the order that they go in. I'll probably look it up anyway. But uh, then we got the Haunting of Whaley House. Um, it's got uh, they probably got one of the worst things. There's no screenshots or anything, so I have no clue what I'm getting into. Uh, then we've got The Raven, which I think is sort of like a historical serial killer type movie, um, gothic movie. A triple pack here with Vile, Chained and Carjacked. Um, I mainly got it for the movie Vile, but it had three movies in there, so why not? <laughs> uh, WrestleManiac, which is a killer luchador and in, um, stars Rey Mysterio Sr., which I'm not sure if it was Rey Mysterio's dad or granddad or uncle or what, I don't know. Um, but this movie, I've seen it a long time ago. I thought it was interesting. Uh, the remake of The Crazies, which um, I've heard a lot of people say is better than the original Crazies. Um, I've seen the original. It's been a long time since I've seen the remake. Um, I thought the original was a bit on the slow side um, and not amazing. Uh, then we got a, a 10 pack of horror movies here. It uh, includes uh, Deep Red, The Hatchet Murders, Christmas Evil, Web of Spider, Circus of Fear, House on the Edge of Park, Messiah of Evil, Die Sister Die, Lady Frankenstein, The Werewolf and Vampire Woman, and Sisters of Death. Um, I think a major I say about se six or seven or what of them are on my Tales of Terror box set, but there was a few on here that weren't. Um, so, uh, Sinister 2, um, I've seen the first one, haven't seen the second one. A lot of people, I've seen all these articles like saying, oh, Sinister is the scariest movie of all time. It's, it's really not. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I don't remember it being that scary. It was creepy, yeah, but. Uh, then we got Shock Labyrinth 3D, which is really thick for some reason, really heavy um, box set. Um, here, um, I think it's uh, from the same people who did uh, The Grudge, so I'm expecting it to be creaky and that. Uh, Sweeney Todd, which is a horror musical, uh, essentially. Um, I remember it, I, I thought it was interesting, I didn't think it was amazing or anything, but um, it's an interesting one, obviously, based on the Sweeney Todd. Is it a horror movie? I'd say it kind of is, you know, it's basically about a guy who killed people. Um, just got and cooked them in pies. That's pretty horrifying to me. Um, but it is more musical than than that. Um, Smiley, which I remember this movie had a bunch of um 
YouTubers in it um, and stuff like that. But I always thought that that mask was really creepy. Uh, Sick Nurses, which I think is a Taiwanese um, movie. It looked creepy as hell. Um, and then we've got the Silent Hill movie, Silent Hill and Revelation. I thought Silent Hill was an excellent uh, adaptation. Uh, I thought this movie was was really good, really creepy. Um, Revelations was alright, but um, Silent Hill was a good ad adaptation. Quite faithful to the game's... Um, very creepy movie. Um, if you like the games, you'll probably enjoy the movie. Uh, Julia X, which I think is another sort of one of these um, revenge, uh, you know, movies. Uh, then we've got Jacob's Ladder, which is, it borders on horror. It's a psychological, um, some people say it's a horror movie. Some people say it's a psychological thriller. I've seen clips of it and the clips that I saw look pretty creepy to me. Uh, then we've got Jurassic Croc. What more do you need to know? Giant killer crocodile. Uh, then we've got a Bram Stoker's Dracula, um, which obviously is the um, Francis Ford Coppola movie. Uh, this the Anthony Hopkins one, Keanu Reeves. Um, again, I, I actually have been reading the book Dracula, and I need to go back and finish it. Um, but it's actually, I'm going to be honest, it's it's quite boring. <laughs> um, Dawn of the Dead. I think this is the original Dawn of the Dead. Um, I'm not sure if it's an, the original or the remake. I'm not too sure. But again, zombies. Uh, Daughters of Darkness and Mirror Mirror. Double pack. Uh, and then we've got the three, I've uh, got three grudge films. I've got the original um, and the the uh, sequel to the original the Jew on grudge and then we've got the uh american remake which i actually thought was pretty decent um i know they did a new one um these movies are pretty creepy toxic avenger uh one of the few trauma movies that i do have physical mainly because they're not they don't release many trauma movies in the uk um but yeah uh I, I know this is on like Troma now. The Hills of Eyes remake, which again I thought was pretty decent. Um in many ways I actually thought it was it was better than the original. Um which I know a lot of people might disagree with, but there are some aspects. Uh then we've got Tremors. Um I don't really know if these are horror movies. I think they're sort of sci yeah, sci-fi creature comedies. Um but they're like giant monsters and stuff. So uh, the Devil's Reject, which I thought was awesome, I actually really enjoyed um, the movies. I haven't seen Three from Hell yet, though. I think Rob Zombie is a pretty decent director. I think his movies have a great grindhouse feel to them. Uh, the original Poltergeist, again, a classic horror movie, um, really well done, of course. The Host, which I think is like again a giant creature. I think this is Korean. Hannibal, uh, Anthony Hopkins. Um, uh, is it a horror movie? I say it's a horror thriller. A House of the Dead Two. Um, I don't know how good this is. If it's better than the first one, I mean, it's not going to be hard to be better than the first one. <laughs> um, Hostel Part One, Two, and Three. I haven't seen the third one. I thought the first one was great. I think the first one's one of a, is a actually um. Um, modern day horror classic to be honest um, the second one I don't really remember much of it and I'm not sure if I've seen the third one um, but I think the first one is, is, is a great movie um, House of Thousand Corpses I, I think this movie is excellent really enjoyed this one and then the last two we have Half Light um, I'm not sure if this is a horror movie it's just a thriller um, but I don't know it's got supernatural thriller so and then last but not least, we have Pulse, um, which I think is the US remake. Um, I didn't even know this was a remake until I found out that it was. And there we go, guys. So there we have my horror DVD collection. I've got a few horror Blu-rays and, and that as well, but it is what it is. Um, let me know again. So if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. And of course, comment below. Let me know if there's any horror movies here that I should definitely check out. 
Um, got the day to myself, so I'm going to go and chill for a bit now and have some food and I'm going to watch some, some YouTube and stuff for a bit. And then tonight I'm going to play some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And then I'm going to watch the 1999 Survivor Series WWF. Um, so, if, and as always guys, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mayor Tiger and have a nice day.